Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to perform a normalized burn ratio thermal in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So now let me explain about the normalized burn ratio. So this index highlights the burned area in the large fire zones greater than 500 acres. This formula is to be similar to NDVI that is here given NBR that is normalized burn ratio. So the enhanced version of this normalized burn ratio is the normalized burn ratio thermal. So this index uses the thermal band to enhance the, the normalized burn ratio. It results a better uh, separability between the burned and unburned lands. So we are going to use this particular formula to arrive the normalized burn ratio thermal. So now let's me get let get uh, let's get started. So the normalized burn ratio thermal is very useful in detecting the fire uh, forest fire. So let us start. So to uh, define our study area, I have defined a variable called ROI, region of interest equals to double dot geometry dot rectangle. So this particular coordinates represents our latitude and longitude of our study area. So next we are going to use our Landsat 8 image in order to detect our normalized burn ratio thermal. So for that I have defined a variable called image equals to double dot image collection. So to load our Landsat 8 image we have to define a variable called image equals to double dot image collection Landsat. So this particular record will insert our Landsat 8 image into Google Earth Engine. So next we have to filter with a specific time date that is the time day specific time that is we are going to use from 2019 the specific time uh, time filter. So we are going to filter with a specific time from 2019 uh, June 1 to 2019 December 31st. So next we are going to filter with our specific study area that is we have defined here the variable RIO the region of interest defines our study area. So we're going to filter with that with our study area. So for that dot filter bound and RIO. This refers to our study area. So next we're going to use a medium function. The so medium function we are using because in order to acquire, acquire a median, a median uh, pixel value of our image. So that is our image will be varying from 2019 from June to uh, 2019 December in order to acquire a single set of satellite image. We are specifically using a medium function in order to acquire a median value of satellite image. So for that we are using dot median function. So next we have to define a visualization parameter for our true color composite of, our, of the Landsat 8 image. So we have to define the true color composite. So for that we have defined a variable called visualization parameter true. True represents true color composite. So we are going to use the band, we specify the bands band 4, band 3 and band 2. So now let me show you the band details of Landsat 8 image. So we are going to use band 5, band 4 and band 3. So well, let me show you now band 4, band 3 and band 2. So we are going to use our band 4, 3 and 2 for true color composite. So red, green and blue. So now we have uh, specified band 4, band 3 and band 2 with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 3000. And the gamma we have a uh, gamma value is around 1.4. So next we're going to uh, add our layer to uh, in order to add our true color composite of our Landsat layer. To add that we have to define map dot add layer image dot clip. So we're uh, clipping with our specific study area called ROI, the region of interest. So here specified our study area with the uh, latitude and longitude values. So this parameter true refers to our our uh, true color composite variable that is our Landsat true color composite and next we output the layer as Landsat true 2019 true refers to true color composite and next uh, let us add center of our layer to center of our layer we have to define uh, define map dot center object ROI region of interest that is our study area with specific zoom level so in order to center our uh, uh, center our image that is our uh, layer at defined map dot center object ROI with a zoom, a zoom level of 8. So next we are going to set a visualization parameter for our NB, uh, NBRRT normalized burn ratio thermal. So to set a visualization parameter for our layer that is a normalized burn ratio thermal. So we have to set define a variable called vis with a minimum value of 0.10 and to a maximum of 0 0.9 
with the color palette sequence from blue, yellow and red. Blue represents uh, so blue represents the region of uh, low uh, or no forest fire activities and yellow represents a moderate forest fire activity and red represents a very high forest fire activity. So next we are going to calculate our NBRT that is normalized burn ratio thermal. So this specific we are we're going to calculate this ratio. So this ratio is very useful in order to identify the forest fire activity. So for that to calculate the NBRT we have to define a variable called NBRT equals to image dot expression. So image here refers to our Landsat 8 image. So this specific variable this variable relates to our Landsat 8 image. So image dot expression and the next we have to define our uh, formula for our NBRT. Now uh, let me show you the formula. So this is a formula for normalized burn ratio thermal. So we are going to use our NBRT equals to NIR minus short wave infrared. So this is near infrared minus short infrared and thermal band divided by 1000 and similarly divided by NIR plus short wave infrared thermal divided by 1000. So I have given expression as NIR minus 0 0.001 that is 1000 into short wave infrared into temperature that is our thermal band divided by NIR plus 0 0.001 that is this specific value. So thermal divided by 1000. So we are using NIR plus 0 0.001 into short wave infrared into temperature. So next we are going to specify what is the NIR. So NIR is ref refers to the image dot from image select band 5. So NIR is a band 5 and similarly we are going to use short wave infrared. So to show what is the short wave infrared we are referring to our image Landsat 8 image image dot select band 7. We are selecting band 7. So short wave infrared refers to band 7 and similarly the temperature here refers to refer that we are using image select band 11. So band 11 is our temperature that is our thermal band we are referring to B11. So at last to add our layer that is our NBRT the normalized burn ratio thermal in order to add this layer into our uh, to display this layer we are using layer nbrt dot clip with our study area RIO the region of interest and visualization parameter. So for uh, we, are, we, uh, we created our visualizes refers to this specific variable. So we are created to set up the visualization parameter for our NBRT ratio. So it refers to this, uh, this specific visualization and output the layer output the layer name as wildfire of California. So study area is California. So in this script we have defined two, uh, defined two uh, visualization parameter. So this specific visualization is to for our true color composite our uh, true color composite for our Landsat 8 image. So this specific visualization uh, this specific visualization parameter is defined for our NBRT ratio that is NBRT that is normalized burn ratio thermal the visualization parameter this specific is used this visualization is used for for NBRT. So to add this layer map dot add layer nbrt dot clip rio region of interest and referring to our visualization parameter this one and output the layer name as wildfire california. So now let me run this code go to the option called run script run. So now we have our two different layers loading that is one refers to a wildfire california and Landsat, this is our Landsat true color composite. Let me turn this off. So you can able to view this is our Landsat with true color composite. So now let me add our wildfire California data. So this is our, uh, this is our indication of our normalized burn ratio thermal so which indicates our forest fire activity so blue indicates the uh, no forest fire activity and yellow indicates a moderate forest fire activity and red indicates very high uh, forest fire activity now let me show you this let me turn this layer off so you can clearly able to view this particular section is of uh, forest areas so it is very accurate in identifying 
the forest fire activity so let me turn this on so the vegetation is clearly indicated that uh, in the region of vegetation it has indicated a moderate fire activity that is in given in the yellow color and no fire activity is given in blue color and the red indicates the very far very high forest fire activity so this indicates the blue is of no fire activity and uh, yellow is a moderate fire activity blue indicates low or no fire activity yellow indicates the moderate fire activity and red indicates the very high fire, fire activity so that's how we designed our uh, visualization parameter blue indicating of low fire activity and red indicating of very high fire activity so in this video i have shown you how to calculate the normalized burn ratio thermal which is very very useful for identifying the forest fire activity using our landsat 8 image so we have calculated our nbrt that is normalized burn ratio thermal so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like